All right, what's going on, everybody? We're gonna get ready here to start up our Lockdown Baseball League on Super Mega Baseball 4 on the PS5, our Water Dragons franchise. This franchise is broken up into two different leagues, our Pennant League and Bush League. Pennant League has uh, 16 of the actual Super Mega Baseball teams, and then uh, the Bush League has four Super Mega Baseball teams with 12 custom teams. The custom teams have a few superstars that I created for them, some A-plus uh, superstars on there. And then our team was made of our actual Lockdown Community Discord members, so when they come on and watch the streams, they actually get to root for their players. And uh, our team's done pretty well. 15-2, and two, we've only lost two. Um, been trying to keep the ego at a difficulty where I'm not pulling my hair out. But I also don't want to crush the uh, opponents, which I have been doing for a bit there. We started the season, and I think we were like... Three and one, something like that. I uh, took a little hiatus, and then once I went back to the game, there was an update, and the rule was if I won, I went up one difficulty. If I lost, I went down one. So there was a while there where I was dominating, and we kind of pulled way ahead. But I think around 59, 60, 61, I think that's where we're going to be good at. Uh, We'll get started here in just a few moments. In the meantime, if you're enjoying the music you're listening, you can check out twitch.tv forward slash bubonic instrumental. He's the one that has all the beats supplied for our stream today. Check him out. Maybe he'll make you some beats as well. Give him a follow. We'll be back in just a couple moments. Alright guys, let's get into it. Our first game of the night here, our Water Dragons will be taking on the Nightmares. And as you can see, Nightmares are 8 and 9. We're sitting at 15 and 2. 8 and 9 is going to put them about the middle of the Bush League. Um, how it'll work is the bottom three. We'll go to season standings and kind of show you guys. So the Pennant League is where you want to be. That's going to be the main championship. Uh, our league is set up similar to Premier League football, English football. Uh, where the bottom three teams in the pennant league will be demoted down to the bush league the top two teams automatically advance into the pennant league and teams three through six will play a single elimination tournament uh, for that number three spot to get advanced over to the pennant league so we shall see what happens here we are sitting pretty but like i said the uh, ego difficulty has gone up and it's been a little bit harder but uh, as you can see our run differential is beyond ridiculous right now so we might even have to maybe just sim a few games we're just over the halfway point in this uh, 30 game season so we're sitting pretty good unless i completely stumble i think we'll be all right um as far as money goes i think we'll be able to re-sign everybody uh we've got a lot of money still most of our players are b plus b minuses stuff like that so we should be good uh, with that, let's get into our next game. So we're going against Chandler Durham. 
right-handed pitcher. So we got to keep that in mind when we set up our lineup here. Uh, Valley will be pitching for us. What up, Coatsy? What up, Vega? You love Bush. <laughs> Bush beans. Bush Anheuser. Uh, we're going against the righty. Jack Carter's a little tense. Dundee should be back in the lineup. So maybe we'll swap in. We'll swap uh, Carter. We'll put Jonesy at first. And then we'll substitute him out for Dundee. Dundee's all healed up from his stub toe. So, Kutsi, our leadoff guy, has been killing it. Dundee. Then we'll go, uh, let's go Danglin. He's got that right-handed power. Shopping house. He's been excellent for us. Old Babs. Cousin Jay. We'll go Jonesy. Uh, we'll move Jonesy up the batting order there a little bit. And yeah, we'll go like that. I think that's good. We got Paul Valley pitching for us. He's been an excellent starting pitcher, our number two in the rotation. I think with that, we are good. <laughs> no, all natural bush. <laughs> I want to have to weed whack through it. <laughs> Where are we playing at? Whacker's Wheel? All right. Whacker's Wheel. Welcome everybody to Whacker's Wheel as our Water Dragons head into town to take on the Nightmares. Should be a good one. Starting on the mound for the Nightmares will be Chandler Durham. He's got an ERA of 4.96. And do up for the Water Dragons will be Cootsie, Dundee, and Dangle. Here is Cootsie back in a 425, five home runs, 14 RBIs. He's been locked in as of late, playing right field. And pop that one up out to left field line, giving it a chase. Oh, off the wall, luckily. Ooh. Late curve inside. And that one gets hit over there to Raheem at second. Over to first for the out. How you guys doing today, man? You guys having fun? Maybe a little shell after this? I haven't played shell in a bit. So up next is the second baseman, Dundee. A little late on that one, fouls it off. And again. And that one's gonna get down out in shallow center for a base hit. So the Water Dragons with one out. Get Dundee on at first. That'll bring up the power hitting DH, hot dangling. Absolutely crushes Raggies. And he'll take one high and inside. And he might have gotten all that one. This is a big outfield. Does it have enough? It does! Top of the first, Water Dragons already get two on the board there. From Hot Danglin, his 11th home run of the season, leads the league in homers. Just like that, 2 nothing for the Water Dragons. As Schaffenhaus, the center fielder, steps into the number four spot. Takes the ball outside. And that one outside, good eye. And that one's a rocket shot out in the center. Mata. Gloves it, gets it in. So it'll be a scorching single there for Schopenhaus. As the catcher, Babs McGee batting in the five spot. At 19 RBIs. Takes one inside. And there's a rocket shot out in the left center. Mata finally grabs it, and that'll be a sliding double. So still one out. Both runners in scoring position for the first baseman, Matt Jonesy. Jonesy known for his skill against the lefties. Takes the ball, 1-1. One, one. Oh, a little late on that one. Oh, and got him. So a good strike out there. Stop the bleeding. As Cousin Jay, the third baseman, RBI hero. See if he can come up here. 
And it looks like that one's gonna get down out in center left as well. Jay's going too, run comes home, he'll be saved. A two run RBI double with two outs here in the top of the first for Cousin Jay. I'll bring up the left fielder, Bobby V. Jay on at second. And a hot shot over there, out in the left field. And Bobby V's gonna be on, runners at the corners. Here comes the shortstop, Chris Topher. Oh, uh, uh, high. Topher been struggling at the plate as of late. Oops, and late on that one. Fouls it off. And a pop up. That should be the inning as Raheem makes the out. Before come across on six hits in the top of the first for the Water Dragons. As they hit the field for the first time, Paul Valley will be the starting pitcher. His ERA 1.59. Now batting, leading off the game, Kylan Mata, the center fielder here for the Knights. You'd say the Nightmares. We'll see what Valley's got in store for him. That was 94 past him for a strike. Oh, that one's going to get through the gap there between third and short. It'll be a leadoff single. Here comes the first baseman, Quentin Killian. Batting a 299, might as well round up and call it a 300. Takes a strike, big breaking ball there. Fouls it back, quickly down, 0-2 in the count. And it runs up on Valley. And both runners will be saved, so Valley not able to make the fielding play there. So two will be on here with the big bat. The second baseman, Abdul Rahim, stepping in. Still nobody out. And a hot shot there is going to get past the first baseman. All the way out in right field. Run comes home. Runners at the corners. An RBI single for Rahim. As John Buchanan, the catcher. Batting in the fourth spot. Runners at the corners with still nobody out. So not a good start here to the game for Valley. It's a strike in there. That one inside for a ball. Pops that one foul behind the plate. Hammers that one back foul. And again. Fouled it off. Finally, Valley got him to swing at one inside for the strikeout. So now the two-way player, Vahimit Tumor, up to bat. Nightmares have a lot of big power hitters that just haven't been able to really get it going this season. And uh-oh, as I say that, there's another big hit. And that'll be an RBI single as the Nightmares are having a good first inning as well. Henley Wheeler, the shortstop. Now up to bat. One out, two on. Miley's got to figure out how to get this ball in play. Maybe turn the double. And just like that, over to Topher. The Dundee double play. Six, four, three to end the inning. So the Nightmares scratch back with four hits. Two come across as we go to the top of the second. Water Dragons lead four to two. With Cootsie, Dundee, and Dangling do back up. So the lineup. Flips over as we're only in the top of the second. Gucci <laughs> for one today. Got to get on base. Hammers that one again over to Raheem. Same as before. Killian able to dig it out. And Coatsy thrown out there as Greg Dundee. Back up one for one. Ball outside. 
And Dundee hammers one. Oh, at the warning track goes Tumult. He will make the grab, so a loud out there. As Hot Danglin, who already has a two-run RBI, or two-run homer, back in the first. Nobody on, two outs. Oh, just laid on that one. That was right down the middle. Full count. Oh, and late a strikeout there. You don't see Danglin go down much on strikeouts. So nothing happening there for the Water Dragons as we go to the bottom of the second with Knight, Booker, and Alexander do up for the Nightmares, bottom of the lineup. Here is Towley Knight, the third baseman. Starts in with a strike high. And that one's gonna get down. And so again, the Nightmares Start off the inning with a leadoff single. Here comes the left fielder, Spray Booker, batting at 354 all the way in the eight, eight spot here. Oh, easy out. And Jay tries to go two, no, not able to. So gets on. Jay made a nice grab, but couldn't get the throw over in time. As Talia Alexander now, two on, nobody out. One one count. And that one goes foul. So, oh, two. Didn't get her to chase at the curveball high. Got her swinging there. So a good comeback pitch for Valley. As the lineup rotates over. The leadoff man, Kylan Mata, one for one today. Starts him with a strike in the outside corner. Oh, a scorcher, but foul down the right field line. Oh, that is skyrocketed. That ball is out of here. A three-run shot for Mata. He obliterated 380 feet. His fourth home run of the year, 11 RBIs. And the Nightmares take the lead 5-4 with Quentin Killian coming up, who's already 1-1 one one today. He's got one out, nobody on. So we haven't seen Valley have to deal with... Uh, any type of adversity here in this this season. Pitched really well, but this game having a tough go. And again, fouled back. Got him to swing at that one in the dirt. Throw over to first for the punch out. As Abdul Rahim, he singled and had an RBI in the first inning. Back up. Ball low. Fouls that one back. Check swing strike there, so one and two. And a little dribbler over to Jonesy at first. He'll tag the bag and that'll be the inning. But the damage was done on the three run blast for the Nightmares as we head to the top of the third. They lead five to four over the Water Dragons. With the heart of the lineup coming up, four, five, and six, Schaffenhaus, McGee, and Jonesy. Here's Schaffenhaus, he's singled earlier in the game. And a hot shot back past the pitcher. And a leadoff single. Getting a lot of offense going in this game for both teams. Babs McGee locked in, had a double earlier. Throw over and shopping house back in safely. Pitch out. Fouls it back. Watches that one in there for a strike. And 
fouls that one. And McGee, a rocket shot. No one's getting that one. Home run ball out in the right center. And just like that, a two run shot, 430 feet, her eighth home run, 21st RBI, puts the Water Dragons back in front, six to five. She has been locked in as of late. That'll bring up the first baseman, Matt Jonesy. And a little dribbler, the pitcher Durham will be able to glove that one. And Jonesy goes down. As Cousin Jay, he had the two-run double. Got nobody on here. Fouls off the first pitch. And got him to swing on one inside. Good eye. And there was a good hit from Cousin Jay. Kind of left center. He's going too as that one got all the way back to the wall. And Cousin Jay with a one-out double for the Water Dragons. Brings up Bobby V, who singled earlier in the game. See if he can drive Cousin Jay in. And a hot shot, but right to the third baseman, unfortunately. They go back to second for a double play. But, man, this game is already heating up here. Six to five, we head to the bottom of the third, and it is a back and forth slugfest. Water Dragons lead, but the big John Buchanan steps in, playing catcher today. Starts him with a strike. And a little dribbler over to Jay. Backhand glove, fires the first for the out. Comes Vehemet Tumult. He's got a RBI single in the game. First pitch, hacks that one into his own dugout. Curveball gets in there for strike two. That one too low in the dirt. Not going to bite it at that. And that one goes over to Topher. At short, goes the first for out number two. Comes Henley Wheeler. Over oh, one day. <laughs> Starts her with a strike. Oh, on outside for a ball. Ball two. Good eye here from Henley. Pops that one up out into shallow left. And Bobby V will make the grab. So three up, three down. Finally for Valley. We go to the top of the fourth. Water Dragons lead six to five in this one. With the number nine, Tulfer, coming up. And then the lineup will rotate over. With the leadoff man, Cootsie, followed by Dundee. Go for over one today. He looks to be feeling a little tense. As I said, hasn't been hitting too well as of late. And as I say that, got a hold of that one, and it is gone! That's one way to start feeling better at the plate. Topher, 358 over the right field wall, his fourth homer of the season, 11 RBIs on the year. That'll bring up the leadoff man, Luke Cootsie. Looking for his first hit of the game today. And that one inside for a strike. Watches that one for a ball. And a rocket shot out to center field and Cootsie is on. He has been locked in. You gotta be careful of the speed of Cootsie. He can turn that single into a triple easily. As Dundee. Steps up to bat. That one right down the middle. That one low for a ball. Cootsie goes. Breaking ball. Too high and Cootsie's in there safely. So no outs. Runner on second. And Dundee with a ripper. 
That's gonna get Cootsie home. That'll be an RBI single, thanks to the steal from Cootsie, and the Water Dragons go up eight to five now. Bringing up Danglin, who already has a home run and two RBIs today. You got Dundee on first with nobody out. Watches the ball. Oh, and that one's popped up right behind second base. Raheem makes the grab. Dundee retreats, and that'll bring up Schaffenhaus, who's two for two today with two singles. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And oh my! Schaffenhaus just got a hold of it. Oh, but not quite enough. Dundee retreats. And that'll be a double play. Boy, I thought that was gone off the bat. I was sending Dundee. Whoops, that one's on me. So the Water Dragons get two more there in the top of the fourth. We head to the bottom of the fourth with Knight, Booker, and Alexander, the 7, 8, and 9 batters coming up. Here's Knight, he's one for one. Bally, it seemed as though he was starting to settle into this game last inning. It was the first inning where he went one, two, three through the order. And quickly he has 0-2 here on Knight. See what he goes for with the punch out. That one fouled back. And oh, that one fouled down the third baseline. Him swinging at the knees inside chased it for the punch out and spray Booker up starts him with a strike fouled back and he's down 0-2 that one way inside oh 2-2 count. Lights back. 3-2 count. And that'll be a walk from Valley. As he could not get him on the punch out. Trying to pick the corners. Get him to chase. So here's Alexander. Valley starts over the strike. Big hack there, but missing. Down 0-2. And a big punch out there. So Valley comes back after the walk with a strikeout. Here's Kylan Mata. He's two for two. He had the three run homer. He's got to be careful. Starts him with the ball. And the hit and run was on, but fouled back. Uh-oh, and that one bounces off the glove of McGee. Looked like it was trying to be a pitch out, but I missed it. The runner at second now with two outs. And good eye there from Mata. Fouls it back. Three, two, two outs. And again, fouls it off. And got him swinging that one outside. Good pitch there from Valley, and that's two clean innings. No runs come across. We head to the top of the fifth with McGee, Jonesy, and Jay due up. Water Dragons lead eight to five. Here is McGee. She's got a double, a home run, and two RBIs today. Having a hell of a game. In her last game, she had a... Home run that tied it. And then a walk off double to win it. Now she's up 3 0 in the count here. And that one. Will it drop? No. Two more able to run it down out there in right field. So Babs goes down on a 3 0 count. And here's Matt Jonesy, 0 for 2 today. Still looking to get his first hit. And oh, just late on that one. Rips it foul down the right field line. And well, right between the pitcher's legs up the middle. 
And Jonesy reaches one out and one on here for Cousin Jay, who's two for two. Two doubles and two RBIs for the stellar third baseman. More known for his defensive skills and his hitting, but has really come on as of late. And fouls that one back. And as I say that, a good hot shot out into center field will get down. And Cousin Jay is three for three today. That'll bring up Bobby V. He's another one that's known more for his defensive skills. But 15 RBIs on the year. And RBI situation here with two on, one out. Watch his one for a strike. Just early foul there. 0-2 count. And oh, just a little bit late. And he will go down on strike. Comes Topher, not known for his power, but he homered earlier in the game, one for two. And was that one foul? And again, fouls it off a little early. Bikes that one off, foul, cut inside on him, and popped that one up. Boy, that was right down the middle. Popped it up. Dead center field. Mata will make the grab, and that'll be the inning. The Water Dragons ain't able to get anything going there. Yeah, 14 hits on the day with eight runs. Nightmares with six hits, five runs, as we go to the bottom of the fifth with Killian, Raheem, and Buchanan due up. Here is Killian, the first baseman. He's one for two today. Oh, Valley with a bug up his nose. Oh boy, that thing is absolutely belted. A solo shot, one pitch will lead off the inning for the Nightmares. Ninth home run for Quentin Killian, 19 RBIs on the season. As Abdul Rahim, who's one for two with an RBI. That one fouled back. Good eye there. Tipped it, but didn't go for it. 1-1 one, one count. Watches that one for a strike. And strike three on the high inside corner. So Valley gives up the solo shot and then comes back with a strikeout. As John Buchanan, the big center. Or, sorry, excuse me, I got hockey on the mind. The big catcher steps in. Takes the ball inside. Ball inside. Ball two. Fouls that one off. And yeah, that one fouled off as well. So he comes back 2 2 here is Valley. Looking for the punch out. And got him. Fooled him there. Check swing strikeout. As for him at two more. Now up to bat with two outs. Nobody on. He's one for two with an RBI. Fouls that one off. And again, back to back foul balls go up and out of play. So he's down 0 2. Valley looked for the punch out, got him to swing at one. Out in center field, Schaffenhaus will make the grab, and that'll be the inning. So the top of the lineup will be due up for the Water Dragons as we go to the top of the six. They lead 8 to 6. Cootsie, Dundee, and Dangling. <laughs> you see that patented pistol firing as he steps into the box, the switch hitter. Watches one for a strike. And that one ran inside on him, and again, a ground out. Over to second. Here's Dundee, who's two for three. Two singles and an RBI. I did it again. That one, a strike on the outside. And Dundee obliterates one out to right field. There's no getting that one. It is out of the stadium, past the crowd. My goodness, the power of the madman. 
Dundee, 418, ninth homer of the year. And yeah, his toe looks fine now. Add another one onto the Water Dragons as Hot Dangling now up to bat. And he rockets one out to center field. That's going to get down. Mata's got it. Dangling's going for two. Slides in there, and he will be safe. Not known for his speed. That'll bring up Schaffenhaus, who's two for three with two singles. One out, runner on second. And late on that one. Not late there. And that gets over his head. Chapinas goes to Dangling, had to hold up, comes home, he will score. 10 to six now on the RBI double for Schaffenhaus. Which brings up Babs McGee, a double, a home run. Two RBIs, one on, one out, and she dribbles one over to second, and a double play again to end the inning. Water Dragons did that last inning, ripped one over at third. Runner was caught in between for the double play, and it happens again there. But the Water Dragons put two across in the top of the six as we head to the bottom for the Nightmares. Henley Wheeler will lead off the inning. The team's got some making up to do, down by four. Valley's still pitching a heck of a game here. He's at 82 pitches. 0-2 count. And got Henley striking out there. As Knight now up in the seventh spot. One for two today. And a ball inside and high. A good one in there for a strike. And a hot shot out in the center field. That'll be another single for Knight. Bottom of the lineup hitting well here in this game. Spray Booker. 0 for 1, but does have a walk. And you gotta think Valley's gonna look for the punch out or the double play ball to end the inning. 1 1 count. On slider gets in there for a strike. Booker's down one two. See what Valley calls for here. Oh. That one in the dirt two two. And a little blooper. Bobby V can't get there. It was foul, but a good attempt there from Bobby V out in left field. And that one just foul over the first base uh, line. So again, we do it 2-2. Oh, no, 3-2. And again, a hot shot out to left field, but that one's gonna go foul into the crowd. Chopping out a nice diving attempt, but it just hit the dirt. Or I should say hit the grass out in center field. It drops down. Runner was able to get to second. And I believe that's going to be, oh, a little pickoff attempt over at second base. So that is going to be it for Valley. As Bermuda will now be in to pitch, Valley will be responsible for the two on. So one out, running on first and second here in the bottom of the six. Water Dragons lead 10 to six. And Bermuda, the lefty, comes in. 0-2 count here to Alexander, the number nine hitter in the DH spot. And that's a perfect ground ball, Dundee. No, only able to get to the second base out. The so runner's at the corners. Two outs. And the man of the day for the Nightmares, Kylan Mata. Now up to bat. 
It's a ball inside. That one, 97 in there for a strike. And a good eye. Mata, done a nice job today. Not swinging at anything out of the zone. 2-2 two, two, with two outs and two on. Bermuda delivers and just outside. And no, walked him, went for the punch out. I don't think Bermuda can believe it. And it doesn't get any easier as now Quinton Killian up. He's got the bases loaded. His team is down by four. One swing of the back, could tie it. He already homered in today's game. And Bermuda starts him with a strike. The pressure is on right now. On low. Fouls it off into the Water Dragon dugout. He's down one, two. And again, finds a way to foul off that slider inside. Barely got a hold of the changeup. He is staying in there fighting. And got him! Watch the curveball break in at the top of the zone. A huge punch out there for Bermuda. And no runs will come across as Jonesy J and Bobby V will be due up. Boom, oh, big hack there goes foul. And again, that one kind of came inside, fouls it off. And oh, and what a strike out there for Durham. Jones and Kyle looking, thought it was high. Cousin Jay up, he's three for three with two doubles and a single. Also has two RBIs on the day. And a little dribbler, but foul right at the plate. Outside for a ball. Way outside, 2-1. And that one jammed him. He'll be thrown out as he ran it over to short. And Bobby V will come back up. One for three today. Got one inside. Um, breaks across the plate for a strike. Two one. And that one got a hold of it. Wheeler able to grab it over at short. Throws the first. And three up, three down in the seventh for the Water Dragons. They still lead ten to six. We head to the bottom of the seventh with the three, four, and five hitters coming up. Nightmares got to get something going. Here's Abdul Rahim, the second baseman. One for three with an RBI. Bermuda still in the game pitching. Came in last inning and didn't allow a run to come across. Big swing there from Rahim, missed it. And got it, 101, blows it past Raheem for the punch out. As John Buchanan now in. He's 0 for 3 today. Fouls that one off. And hammered into his dugout, 0-2. Looking on that breaking ball. Let's go! Inside. Just frozen. So two outs, nobody on for Vehima Tumult. He's singled in the game. Bottom of the seven. And a hot shot there. Almost hit Bermuda in the face. Goes out to center field and he'll be on with a two out single. As Henley Wheeler. Now oh, up, well, she's 0 for 3 today. And first pitch, 98, right past her. Strike two on the inside corner. And three straight fastballs. What a way to end the inning. We head to the top of the eighth with Topher, Kutsi, and Dundee coming in. Water Dragons still lead 10 to 6. We did it! We did it! 
Stouffer, one for three. He's got a home run and RBI. Watches that big breaking ball for a strike. Wow, a little late on that inside pitch. And that one just foul. And that one this time, fair over to third. But he will be thrown out. As Cootsie won for four today. One out, nobody on here in the top of the eight. Lead off, man. That one, will it get past? And a good hit there, the shortstop not able to get it. So Cootsie's on base with a single. He stole earlier. He's got Dundee up, who's three for four. Two singles, a home run, and two RBIs. One out, let's see if they send Cootsie. And he goes, first pitch. He'll be in there safe. It was a ball, so 1-0 count. Ball two. Dundee barely got a hold of that one. Cootsy will advance over to third, but it's two outs. As Hot Dangling now up. He's got a double, a home run, and two RBIs. Runner at third. Base hit gets him in, and that, oh, what a glove by Wheeler. Oh, and Dangling, bang, bang, play over at third. But not in time, unfortunately, as he is thrown out. No runs come across. We head to the bottom of the eighth with the seven, eight, and nine hitters due up. Knights had a good game so far. Two singles, two for three. Bermuda at 25 pitches. And Knight, first pitch swinging, foul ball down the left field line. And again, Knight's going to be on. Base hit right up the middle. The leadoff man is on. Knight has been a hard out for the Water Dragons today. A spray Booker, one for two. Got a single and a walk. And right to Cousin Jay. Double play ball. And they convert it. The 5-4-3 put out. And Talia Alexander, 0 for 3. She's feeling tense, comes up to the plate screaming. Two outs, nobody on. Bermuda, pitched a good one, get a double play ball. And blows that 98 mile an hour fastball past Alexander. And a little dribbler to Dundee, gets it. Oh, and safe, wow. Some good speed there from Alexander to get on. As now the man of the hour for the Nightmares. A single, a walk, a home run, three RBIs here for Kylan Mata in a big situation. Here to start him with a strike at the knees. He fouls that one off. And a little dribbler to Dundee. Should be the out, and it is. So, Nightmare is not able to do anything in the bottom of the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. Water Dragons still lead 10 to 6. Got to think Chambers could potentially be coming in for them in the bottom. But before that, we have Shopping House, McGee, and Jonesy coming in here. And here is Shopping House, 3 for 4 with two singles and a double. Also has an RBI today. Durham still in the game pitching. And a hot Shot out in the right field for Schopenhouse, and he is on yet again. The hitting machine continues to just put balls in play. As Baz McGee is up now with a double, a home run, and two RBIs. And Schopenhouse is going to go. And he'll be in there safely. Pitch was a ball to Babs. And she hits one into the gap. And they're going to hold up Shopping House. Looked like he was going to go, but good arm out there in right field. And here comes Chandler Durham's coming out. Here comes the closing pitcher, Bucket Tate. Right-hander. And that'll bring in Jack Carter. 
Who slugs against righties. And wow, high strike. And Carter blasts that one. Does it have enough? It does. Pitch hit homer for Jack Carter. Three run blast, and that completely opens up the game. His fifth homer, 15 RBIs on the year. He was sitting today as he was feeling a little out of it. I'll bring up Cousin Jay, three for four. A little dribbler there from Jay. Trying to beat it out, and not able to. But Carter was a little tense, they said. Wanted to give him a rest. Comes in, pinch hit, three run blast. That should get him going. Bobby V up now, and he takes first pitch for a ball. That one, strike. And strike two. And, oh, right past the pitcher. Bobby V's on. Score now 13 to 6 for the Water Dragons here in the top of the ninth. As Chris Topher will step up with one out. He's got some speed over at first. Bobby V's gonna go on the first pitch. Will he get there? No! Thrown out. And Topher rolls into second. Would have been a double play ball either way. But it doesn't matter as the Water Dragons now lead 13 to 6. Heading to the bottom of the ninth. Nightmares down to their final three outs here in this game one of the stream. They do have the two, three, and four hitters coming up. Quentin Killian he got a single on a home run today. Bermuda looks like he's going to stay in to try to close the game out. Strike in there to Killian. Strike two. And got him swinging. Three straight pitches. Strike out there for Bermuda. And now here comes Abdul Rahim, one from four. On a ball. Hit right past Bermuda. Rolls out into center field. And that'll be a single. As John Buchanan steps up. He's 0 for 4 today. And let's see. Nightmares are bringing in a pinch runner, Grant Sutton. A starting pitcher is going to go on the bases. He's got some speed. But Bermuda might. Take a look over there and try to hold him. And oh, in there safely. And that one right over to Dundee. Topher over to Carter. And that is the game. Rolls into a double play, and the Water Dragons go on the road and win it here against the Nightmares. Water Dragons finish with 13 runs, 22 hits, no errors. The Nightmares, 6 runs, 13 hits, no errors. A lot of good hitting on both sides in this one. As Dundee, Danglin, McGee, Carter, and Topher all had home runs for the Water Dragons. The winning pitcher would be... Paul Valley, his fifth win of the year. And the save will go to Bermuda as he came in in the, uh, what was that, the fifth, sixth, sixth inning. Stayed in and didn't allow any runs to come across. So good pitching here from the Water Dragons. And let's look at our three stars of the game. Your third star for the Water Dragons, the center fielder, Kenny Schaffenhaus. Four for five, double RBI, three runs, and a stolen base. He was doing it all. Your second star for the Nightmares was their center fielder, Kylan Mata. Two for four with a home run, three RBIs, two runs. And the first star of the game yet again for the Water Dragons, the catcher, Babs McGee. She went three for five with a home run, a double, two RBIs, and three runs scored. Boy, Babs has been killing it, man. She has been killing it.
What do we got here? The media is asking who you thought lived up to your expectations in today's game. Who do you praise? Ooh, you know what? I would praise Babs because she deserves it. But with Dundee's loyalty at 77, we're going to go ahead and give it to Dundee. Just so that his, his loyalty can build up a little bit. Oh, and apparently that's it. All right. So we got let's simulate some of these games here buzzards platypi some bottom feeders in the bush league and the buzzards win i don't care about the pennant league we're not in that bougie birds junk dogs bougie birds junk dogs fighting back and bougie birds end up coming back and winning it big game for there oh griffins guardians the two and three and the guardians pick up a big win over the griffins phantoms versus the jacks and the Phantoms come back and win that one. Trying to stay in that top six. Mantis Finches. And the poor Finches, man. They have just not been good. Guardians Heaters. Guardians. Stay at the top three with that win. Bougie Birds Chompers. Chompers putting it on them. Bougie Birds coming back. Oh, with the comeback win. Bougie Birds. That was huge for them. They are currently in fifth. Junk dogs and buzzards. Junk dogs take that one seven to three. Platypie and Mystics. Mystics with a big win there against one of the bottom teams. Serpents, Jacks, both about mid level there. Jacks with a good win. Got next Griffins, Phantoms. And Phantoms, a massive win for them. All right, so now let's take a look here after that week of gameplay. Water Dragons are still up 16-2. Griffins, 13-6. Guardians, 13-6. There's your top three at the moment. Mantis are 12-6. Bougie Birds are 12-7. And, and Mystics are 11-8. So... Let's see. Phantoms, one game back. Jacks and Serpents, two games back. Chompers, Nightmares, Junk Dogs, three games back. So uh, it's going to be close all the way till the end. What an amazing town. What's up, Danglin? What's going on, buddy? Oh, now we got a big game coming up here against the Mantis. And we do have to up it. I hate that I have to up the difficulty up to 61 but that's where we're at now uh let's see if we got any player development going on um johnny bermuda phone upgrade this one still can't make your agent sound any less annoying so no chance of losing anything so we'll go ahead and get that you can get the contact building that we get the plus three contact yeah we never get those uh, anything else that won't require? Yeah, Zach Jonesy, personal trainer, 101 regimens will force you to get the most out of each session. So let's see if we can get Jonesy some extra accuracy. And nope, plus 15% chance, and we still can't get her. All right, so there's our training for the, the week. And let's go ahead and get into our next one. So where are we at now? So we're going to be facing a right-handed pitcher, Carlos Cannon, who says he's got no innings pitched. So I wonder if this is their actual pitcher, if they're going to make a change. I'm not sure. We got Thorson, who's 3-0 with a 3.49 ERA. So this is a good one. Mantis are 12-6. and We take their take a look at the standings here. Mantis, they're the number four spot. So it's going to be a tough one. We will be home, though. This will be game 19 of 30, so we're almost there. Let's see. Um, we were going against the righty, so we'll go ahead and swap out Jonesy for Carter. I mean, Carter came in and pinch hit home run, so I do think he needs to be up in there. Um, Cootsie, I think, is good. Dundee, Danglin, Schaffenhaus, McGee, Carter. I mean, I don't think we can really go anywhere else there. Um, Jay... Bobby V and Sofer, yeah, I think we're solid with the lineup. Thorson pitching, let's do it. We went up to 61. Can we do it? Let's see. As we head back home to Shaka Sports Turf. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shaka Sportster. Oh, yeah. As the Mantis come in to play your Water Dragons. Take the mound for the Water Dragons will be Ulan Thorson. He's got an ERA of 3.49. Do up for the Mantis will be Loins, Shepard, and Mubahadala. So here is number 16, Bear Loins, the third baseman, batting a 250. And Thorson will start him off. Foul down first baseline. And a hot shot over by Dundee. What a dive by Dundee for the out. That could have been a leadoff single. And what a play, Dundee. Flashing the glove out there. One out here for Journey Shepard. She's been locked in as of late, batting a 308. Ball outside. And there's another one. Dundee not able to get to that one. That'll be a single. So Shepard's on. As Kari Mubahadala, the first baseman, batting a 301. Five home runs. She's got one on and one out. And a strike high in the zone. And that one, a hot shot right up the middle. All the way out into center field. That'll be a single. So back-to-back -back singles off of Thorson. As Arnie Horn, my good friend Arnie Horn, the shortstop, batting a 347. He's a tough out. Rushes lefties with some serious power. So now one out, and Thorson's got to be careful here. Fouls that one off. Right two. Got the call. Fastball and Dundee not going to be able to get the double play. So the runners advance as Ava Harvey, second baseman, batting a 316. These Mantis know how to hit. Two outs though here for Thorson. Can he get out of the inning? That's a strike. Starts her off with a strike outside. Nope. Inside. Now one, two inside. High curveball, foul back. And again, curveball foul. Got her to swing at one in the dirt. Babs has to fire over to first. And that's a strikeout to end the inning. Matches get two hits, but no runs come across. As Carlos Cannon will take the mound for Mantis. And the Water Dragons will have Kutsi, Dundee, and Danglin do up. So here is the right fielder, number 84, Luke Kutsi. A 423 with five home runs, 14 RBIs. Breaks over the plate for a strike. And that one kind of jammed him up. A little roller to horn, and Kutsi almost beats it. What a good throw, will get him out. As the second baseman, Greg Dundee, 99. Steps up to bat. Hammers that one, but that one's gonna go right to Harvey over at second. That'll be out number two. And hey, are you guys cooking something? Why does it smell like smoke?
The house isn't on fire. All right, we're we're okay. Didn't see any fires in our house or the neighbors, so I think we're good. Here we go. Where are we at? Danglin's up. Ball yeah, we'll watch one outside. He's got two outs. Nobody on. Ball outside. Two count. And a hot shot right back up at the pitcher. Oh, roll all the way out to center field, and Danglin's on two out single. Here comes Kenny Schaffenhaus, the center fielder, batting a 482 with 23 RBIs. And oh, got him to chase that one up high. Browns the short, thrown over to first, and that'll be the inning. One hit for the Water Dragons, but no runs. As we go to the top of the second, with the six, seven, and eight hitters due up. Here is Destiny Yayan. <laughs> All right. What an amazing talent. <laughs> Center fielder batting at 346. No, inside. Person starts over the ball. Let's go. That one fouled back. Yeah, it goes one on one. And a grounder over to short. Topher easily gloves it. Fires the Carter at first for the out. As the right fielder, number seven, Howie called it. Taking his first cuts, batting at 333. Boy, all these Mantis hitters batting in the 300s. Checks his swing, but a called strike at the knees. Nope, inside. One high and inside for a ball. And a little blooper, that's going to get down into shallow center. So one out single for Mantis. That'll bring up the speedy left fielder, Peyton Morgan. And whoa, a hot shot. Scorcher out to center field. Back to back singles. So a rally game going here for Mantis. As Finnegan O'Malley, the catcher, do up. Adding a 333, but he's been dealing with an injury. We'll see, he's got a RBI situation here. And he's gonna roll one to Topher. Topher goes to second, Dundee not in time. Couldn't turn the double play. But that does turn the batting order over for Bear Loins. He's 0 for 1 today, two outs, runners at the corners. And a strike from Thorson. Fouls that one back. And that one's going to go to Topher. Got it. Fires the first. And that'll be the inning. No runs come across. Mantis put together a few more hits. But we go to the bottom of the second with the five, six, and seven hitters due up for the Water Dragons. And here is the catcher, number 11, Babs McGee. He has been on a terror as of late with some big clutch hits. A little late on that one. And not late on that one, a blast out to center left. It is gone. Her hitting streak continues. Three straight games with home runs. 431, ninth home run of the year. 22 RBIs on the season. And the Water Dragons take the lead now, one to nothing here in the bottom of the second, bringing up the big bat of the first baseman, Jack Carter. Ball, that's inside. One inside for a strike, or for a ball, I should say. And that one outside for a ball. Ball, that's low. 3 0 count. And fouls that one off. And that was a hot shot over there to Loins at third. And he fires the first for the out. And that's the third baseman, number seven, batting in the seventh spot, Cousin Jet. That's a strike. Takes his strike on the outer half. Ball, not that's that on a ball. That's a strike. Ooh, high one, but called strike. 
And fouls that one back. Rocket hit over there to short at Horn. Goes the first for the out. Here comes left fielder number 34, Bobby V. Batting a 436. Two outs, nobody on. Takes the ball outside. And Bobby V with a nice hit out in the left field, but Morgan over there runs it down for the out. So the Water Dragons put the first run of today on the board in the bottom of the second with the Babs McGee's solo homer. Go to the top of the third with the two, three, and four hitters do up. Here is the DH, Journey Shepard. He singled her there, been locked in. And my goodness, a hot shot there. Bobby V's on the run, and he makes the grab on the foul line, deep down left field for the out. As Kareem Mubahadala is one for one today as well. Got one out, top of the third. And the big swing there, missing. That's Thorson, a little butt juice on this next pitch. No, nope, inside. On inside for a ball. That one breaks in for a strike. That's ball in the dirt. Couldn't get her to swing. Got her out on that one, though. And inside, punch out for Ulin. As Arnie Horn comes up, shortstop. Takes a strike. Nope, that's outside. outside for a ball. Breaks in for a strike. Fouled off. One two count here to Horn. Two outs in the top of the third. His team down one nothing. Whoa, that one almost got him. And again, he's fighting up there. Fouls it off. Pops out up, center field. Chopping house, position, and drops right into the glove for the third and final out. So we go to the bottom of the third with the number nine hitter, Telfer due up. And then the lineup will rotate over with Kutsi and Dundee. Here is Telfer, the shortstop, number five. Batting at 384. When the season started, Water Dragons thought that Topher would be their leadoff man, but the bat just hasn't has got going for him. And three fouls in a row, down 0-2. And again, fouls it off. That one right past the pitcher. Rolls into center. And Topher will be on with a leadoff single. Here's the man that took over the leadoff spot. The right fielder, Luke Cootsy. Good speed, good contact hitter. And Topher's going to go on the first pitch. And he's in there safely. It was a strike on Cootsy. Tries to tag him out at second, but back in there. On inside, 1-1 one, one count. Cootsy, big hack, fouls that one off, down 1-2. One, that one, that's a rocket shot. They're sitting Topher. And that will be an RBI single for Luke Cootsy. That's the second baseman, Greg Dundee. Steps back in the box. Now with nobody out, one on. Uh-oh. And unfortunately, I got Coots tagged out. And Dundee pops that one up in the center field. So two outs. As the DH hot dangling comes back up. He's got a single in the game already. Batting a 514. Oh. That's one low for a ball. 
hammers that one foul. Oh, that looked in, inside, but called a strike. And again, smacks one up the middle. Dangling, two hit game so far, two for two. Passes the baton over to the center fielder, Kenny Schaffenhaus, 0 for 1 today. Watches one on the outer half for a strike. And he's going to put one up the middle. So two out rally going here with back-to-back -back singles. As the catcher, Babs McGee steps in. She homered in her first at bat. And she do it again here with runners on. That one just foul down the third baseline. That one will get through. No, gloved over there by Horn at short on the edge of the dirt. Thrown out at first, that's the inning, but the Water Dragon's able to get another one across. They make it two to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth. The five, six, and seven hitters coming up for the Mantis. So in the five spot, the second baseman, Ava Harvey, 0 for 1 today. Thorson's up to 38 pitches. She gets a haul to that one. It's going down foul and out of play. Just outside, missing for a ball. No, no. Fouls that one off into the Water Dragon dugout. So 2-2 two -two count. And Cootsie's got to get on the hop. Oh, and what a grab out there in right field by Luke Cootsy. For the first out as the center fielder, Destiny Yayan. Go for one today. Little dribbler. That one will get down in the shallow right for a base hit. Cootsy not able to get to that one. And here comes Howie called it. One for one, back in 500 on the season. Ooh, it starts him off, big breaking ball for a strike. And strike two, a little heat inside. And that one over to Dundee. Loves it, goes to first for the second out of the inning. That's the left fielder, Peyton Morgan. Now up to bat, one for one today. That's low. Starts him with the ball low. That's a strike. strike in there for Moolin. Back to back strikes. And he get the punch out. Fouls that one off. him on the changeup outside the zone and that'll be the inning so four scoreless innings so far for Thorson as we go to the bottom of the fourth what an amazing talent <laughs> it's like you're getting your your uh, chat is getting more and more uh, messed up as if you're getting hammered as the game goes on <laughs> here comes the first baseman Jack Carter And oh, that one curved inside on him. A little roller to second. And he's thrown out. Start the inning. As Cousin Jay do up. 0 for 1 today. Takes that one high for a ball. Inside, jams him up, but he will get that one out in the center field for a base hit. So Cousin Jay gets on as the left fielder Bobby V comes back up to bat. Look for his first hit of the game. He got one on with one out. Oh, hi. And that one a little too high. Hot shot over to third. That could be a double play ball. And it is. Third to second to first. The five, four, three put out double play. We go to the top of the fifth oh, yeah, yeah. with one. O'Malley, Loins, and Shepard do up. 
Fancy still down 0 2. Here's O'Malley, the catcher. See if he can get something going. Nope, inside. It's a ball high. Little dribbler, Jay will glove that one. Goes the first for the out. <laughs> what is that? Danny Tallent. Here's Bear Loins. Lead off, man. Takes a strike in there. Nope, that's outside. Ooh, outside. You bet that's a strike. That one back in there for a strike. And got him swinging at the curveball hot in the zone. Here comes Journey Shepard. She's got two outs, nobody on. She's one for two today. On a ball outside. Boy, the ump's starting to squeeze me here. Hot shot down the right field line. Foul. 1 1 count for Shepard. That low. Couldn't get her to chase. Breaking ball gets in there at the knees. 2-2 Two -two count. Ball. Fouls off the curveball. Got her! Throws her on that big breaking ball high in the zone. Five scoreless innings for Ulan. As the Water Dragons head to the bottom of the fifth. They lead 2-0. Chat, how you guys feeling? We're at 61 difficulty, and I feel like we're doing pretty good. Here's the shortstop, Topher. Takes a strike in there at the knees. And that one, high heat. Couldn't catch up with it. And Topher puts a decent pop out there in right field, but not good enough, as that'll be a fly out. Cootsie shooting off that pistol like he does. He's one for two with an RBI today. Oh. Breaking ball, couldn't find the plate. And Cootsie with a rocket shot out there in left field, but right to Peyton Morgan. So two up, two down. And Dundee looking for his first hit of the game. It's a strike inside. And a hot shot over to Harvey at second. Goes to first. And an easy inning there for the Mantis. We go to the top of the sixth with Mubahadala, Horn, and Harvey do up. Mantis have five hits through five innings. No runs. So here's Mubahadala, one for two today. One's gonna go out to right field. Cootsie on the hop will make the grab. Short stop. Arnie Horn now up. 0 for 2. Oh, that's it's a ball high and inside. Fouls that one back. 1-1 one, one count. Nope. Outside. 2-1. Hot shot over to Dundee, gloves it, no problem. So two up and two down for Team Mantis. As Ava Harvey up, 0 for 2 today. She hits one, that'll be foul. We tried to get there, but couldn't. That one just goes foul down the first baseline. So now she's down 0-2 in the count. We'll get down out in right field. Two out base hit for Mantis. As Destiny hey, got in. Hey. One for two today. They can get a rally going with two outs. Oh. Of course, he starts with the ball. Got one out to Bobby V. And he'll glove that. No problem out in left field. So the Mantis get another hit, but no runs come across. With the heart of the lineup due up for the Water Dragons, the three, four, and five hitters here in the bottom of the six, they lead two to nothing. 
Here is Dangling, two for two with two singles. Not used to seeing this guy get singles. Usually blasted over the fence. And as I say, that rips one right out in the right field, though. What a grab. I'd have to adjust the glove after making that catch. Chopping house up, one for two. Takes a strike inside. Oh, wow, that looks high, but called strike. And Shopping House got all of it, but did he get enough at the track off the wall? Shopping House going three. The right fielder had a hard time trying to grab that one. So he was just a couple feet away from putting one over. As that brings up Babs McGee, runner at third, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Inside. It's a ball. And McGee hits it hard. Hey. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh. I hate the running in this game. I hate how the runners go no matter what. So here we go. Top of the seventh. And a ground out will be the first out for the Mantis. Thorson's still pitching a heck of a game. That one high. And a bunt there. Thorson will glove it. Go to first. So the bunt doesn't catch. Water Dragons off guard as Finnegan O'Malley up. Takes a strike at the knees. And that one hit in the right field. So O'Malley finally gets a hit. That'll rotate the order over here as Bear Loins now up. He's 0 for 3 today. One on, two outs. Perhaps fatigue, maybe setting in here for Thorson up to 82 pitches. And Dundee couldn't get to that one. And that'll bring up the number two hitter, Journey, Journey Shepard. Starts her with a strike. Strike two. And a called strike three. High and inside, right on the corner. Uling gets out of the inning. Seven scoreless innings for Uling Thorson. Water Dragons lead as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Two to nothing. Here comes the big bat of Jack Carter. 0 for 2 today. Batting a 393. Inside, inside for a ball. Ball that's outside. Ball two. And a hot shot. Oh, right to Harvey. But she gloves it for the out. And now Cousin Jay up to bat. He's one for two today. Takes a strike at the knees. That one's going to roll right past the pitcher all the way out into center field. And Cousin Jay will be on base again. One out. One on for Bobby V. It's feeling a little tense. And that one hit right at Horn. A double play ball. And again, Bobby V rolls into a double play. And that'll be the inning for the Water Dragons. As we go to the top of the eighth. Water Dragons still lead two to nothing with the three, four, and five hitters due up. And it looks like they're gonna keep Thorson in. And first pitch popped up. Bobby V, oh, God dang it. Can't make the grab in foul territory because this game's just terrible with figuring out where the ball's going. And 
fouls off the curveball. Oh, just high on that curve. Oh, a rocket shot went to the curveball one too many times, and that'll be a home run for Team Mantis. 446 feet for Mubaha Dallas. Six home runs on the year, her 16th RBI of the season. And now Mantis only down by one, bringing up Arnie Horn, and that's going to be the game for Thorson. So the Water Dragons will bring in Zach Jonesy. That's inside. Starts him with the ball inside. That one in the fourth strike. Ball two. Oh, that one in the dirt. Three one count here to Horn. And he rips that one foul, so a full count. And again, fouls it off. And Arnie Horn up there battling. Fouling all these pitches off here. You Got him looking there on the outer half of the plate. A strike out there for Jonesy. Now up Ava Harvey. He's one for three today. And that one's going to roll over to Dundee. He goes the first. So two outs here in the top of the eighth. Mantis down by one, and it was Destiny got in. Now up to bat. She's one for three today. Starts her with a strike. That one just low. Crowd can't believe it. Strike two. Ball low. Get her to chase. shot and Schaffenhaus makes a grab in center field so Mantis finally get on the board in the top of the eighth we go to the bottom of the eighth Water Dragons lead two to one with the nine one and two hitters due up here's Topher trying to get the crowd involved here one for two today no inside breaks inside for a ball and a chopper over to first. Mavahadala gloves it, tags the bag, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So the leadoff man, Kutsion, he's one for three. Single in an RBI today. Pitch high. One high for a ball. And Kutsi with a nice ripper out in the center field. He'll be on base. Now up to bat, Greg Dundee. And the pressure is on in a one-run game. One out, one on. He's 0 for 3 today. And a pitch out. Kutsi goes. It's a strike. Kutsi in there safely. Got a late jump. But the throw was bad. Ooh, big breaking ball. Finds the plate. And Dundee, that's going to drive Kutsi in after the successful stolen base. An RBI single, and now the Water Dragons lead 3-1. That is a <laughs> crucial run right there. And Hot Dangling comes up. He's two for three. One out, one on. And that one got him jammed up inside. Double play ball ends the inning. But the Water Dragons do get one across. We go to the top of the ninth. Three outs away from winning this one against Team Mantis. They lead 3-1. So you know what that means as how he called it steps up one for three today. The closer, big Mike Chambers, teacup Mike. There's one thing you know that's coming at you when Mike Chambers is in the game, and that is heat. 106 on the gun. And got him on three straight heaters. 
That's Peyton Morgan up. He's one for three today, the switch hitter. Now batting from the left side. And 106. 106. And three straight pitches. I don't even know if Peyton Morgan even saw him as he didn't swing once. Six pitches for Chambers coming in the game to close it. All strikes, two strikeouts. As now down to their final out is Team Mantis. Here in the top of the ninth, three to one game. Finnegan O'Malley. And he pops up the first pitch. Chopping house. No, Dundee will take it. In shallow center field, and that will be the game. The Water Dragons hold on to win this one. Team Mantis got one run on nine hits, no errors. The Water Dragons, three runs on 11 hits, no errors. Hitting today. Water Dragons had one home run from McGee, and that was it. So the power bats didn't do it. They had to facilitate today, get runners on, and hit them across. Your pitching stats here. The loser pitcher, Mantis, is Cannon. Pitched the whole game. The winning pitcher for the Water Dragons will be Ulan Thorson. And Chambers will get the save. Your three stars of the game. Your third star for the Water Dragons. The catcher, number 11, Babs McGee. One for three with a home run, RBI, and one run can cross for him. The second star of the game, number 88, the right fielder, playing first base today. Kari Mubahadala. Two for four with a home run, RBI. And your first star of the game for the Water Dragons, the starting pitcher, number 74, Olin Thorson. He pitched seven innings, gave up nine hits, one earned run, and six strikeouts. All right, let's simulate. We got 10 games that we got to get through here. Finches, Nightmares. Wow, Nightmares really dropped off, didn't they? They get that win over the Finches. Poor Finches, they're bottom feeders. Serpents, Heaters. And a close one, Serpents with a big win. Junk Dogs and Chompers. Really close in the standings. Junk Dogs tried to come back. Chompers end up winning it. Guardians, Nightmares. Guardian, stay at the top of the standings. Bougie Birds, Phantoms. Crucial game there for the Phantoms as they pull ahead and get that win. So after that week's of games here, Water Dragons sitting at 17-2. Guardians 14-6. Griffins 13-6. So as of right now, Water Dragons and Guardians would get the um, advancement. They would get promoted to the Pennant League. Griffins would take on the Mystics, and the Mantis would take on the Bougie Birds. Whoever were to win the single elimination tournament would be the third team. The Pennant League, the Sawteeth, Moose, and Sandcats would be the teams getting demoted to the Bush League. We'll see if we have any player development. Uh, yep, personal trainer from Matty Bird. See if we can get the bonus for him. And no, because we never do. And just for bros, hair so thick, you won't even need a helmet. Jack Carter, let's see if we can do this for him. Power, speed, and fielding all up one with a 12.5% chance to plus two power and plus two speed. Let's see if he gets one at least. Power goes up, speed goes up, fielding goes up. And no to the power. And no to the speed. We never get those. All right, guys, that's going to be the stream today. It was a quick little one. A couple games we got in. Nothing major. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm the Finkster, and I will see you guys. Let me see when our next scheduled stream is here. Um, Not till Saturday. I work all week this week. I might find some time to maybe get one or two games in if I get off early or something like that. Uh, at the moment, though, nothing scheduled until this Saturday.
And Saturday, I've got it for 6 p.m., but who knows? Maybe we'll do some other stuff. Might have the wrestling ready to go by then. We shall see. That would be on my Twitch, though. So if you haven't gone over and give me a sub or a follow on Twitch, be sure to do that. It's the same as my YouTube. F1 and KST3R Finkster. Glad you guys hung out with me. If you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you did. Give the video and the stream a like. It'll help me grow. At least a little bit. I would hope so. Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I'm the Finkster, and I will see you on the next one. So long.